Made it. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Inhibitor container detected. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? To their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Fuck! What? The goon! Huge, ugly motherfucker! He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right, enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. Aiden. How's it going? You alive, man? Fuck. I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. Hey, Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why are you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. I guess that means I should wait here.
Mir? Mia? Aiden, what's the matter with you? Mia, where are you? Mia? Oh, no. No, no, no! King Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Nice, right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not awake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Bertie, to your help! If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie... They deserve revenge, and Jack and Joe sentenced them to death, so they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear, I'll gut them. Real slow. Piece by piece. To Ralph, Susie, Ben Birdie, to our crew. Yeah. <laughs> 
What do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie... I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere, with a piece of your hide cut out. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar, and for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. Oh, hell no. Whoa, will you look How'd at that? Happen? It's on now! <laughs> Pilgrim and Barney. I'm it looks like Sophie's not here. I better look for her. Flows better, don't you? Must be. Mo. Dad, it's still early. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind, too. Fine. What brings you? Did you take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. Just this! Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went... She said... Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with... Uh, not working with... Uh, it's broken. That... Uh, oh... <laughs> Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! 
to find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your hell! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? Um... My stories aren't important right now. Uh, I understand. I don't tell mine, you won't tell yours. Okay? It's not like that. It isn't? Yeah, mine's an old story. It still has more questions without answers. Is that why you became a pilgrim? To find those answers? Because you sure don't look like a criminal. At least not to me. Yeah, well, that's because you don't know me. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. come to lurk or help. Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. We'll let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. 
<sighs> well, you said it was time. We're acting. Car Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the others. If anything goes... me <laughs> Oh, 
Bravo, Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the Maiden. Where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. I don't know what they're planning. They said they were waiting on backup. What backup? I don't know exactly. Joe was talking about the Renegades. Remnants of the old army. Stationed on the dam across town. Lately... They've been spotted at the bazaar. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. Go to the Tango Motel, Pilgrim. Jack and Joe will pay in spades for each of us killed. Oh, thanks. If you ever need something, just ask for Christopher. Container. <laughs> 
from Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck you. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the Metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. I have to go, Hakon. I promised to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Too late. Sophie! Barney! You there? Sophie? God, Sophie, report in. Sophie! What the hell is going on? Report in! This is Aiden. Your men are dead. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Helped Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. 
What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? Wait, Barney! Barney, wait! <laughs> Surprise, asshole! <laughs> You're all mine! I got something for you, Jack. <laughs> got you, you piece of shit! <laughs> You figures. I'm looking for Sophie. Sophie! Damn it, this isn't about you, Herman. Get out of my way! Fucking grizzly. Come on, come on. Give it up! Let me talk to Sophie! Yeah. 
Where do you come from? I've got a sixth sense, kid. I knew you were gonna get in trouble. Barney wanted to kill you. Means he has something to hide. Something about Lucas, or worse. What do you mean? The murder of the commander. Now the takeover of the water tower. That's no coincidence, Aiden. Barney has long been looking to get out from behind his sister's shadow and rid Villador of the peacekeepers himself. I'll try to find him. Be careful. I'll go warn Eto. Let's keep in touch. Find you. If you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I don't work for Aider, I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? Because we can help each other. Who killed Lucas? He thinks we killed him. Sophie, talk to me. Did you do it? No. Sophie, what the hell? Why do you care about this murderer? What did Ator promise you? If it's not you, who could have killed him? I wonder myself. Certainly none of my people. If you find out who did it, tell us. I'd like to hug the guy. Lucas deserved to die. Live too long as it is. We didn't have to kill him. We have our own plan for getting the peacekeepers out of the bazaar. Ada promised me passage to the center. That's why I'm helping him. And you believe him? Just like that? At least he didn't try to kill me. He wasn't the one you betrayed. But I can help you too. Help us with the water and I'll take you to the Central Loop myself. Okay, first, I did not betray you. I'm helping investigate a murder, and that's different. As for your offer, isn't the only way through controlled by the PK? There is another way. Do you really believe that I'd just trust you again? We need each other. You didn't tell us you were working with the PK, so we made assumptions. Things are getting more dangerous, and we all need to be careful. You tried to kill me, Sophie. I swear on the memory of Bertie, Susie, Logan, Ralph, and 
Herman, I'm sure. If you help us, we'll take you to the center. Will you help? Fine. What's the plan? Jack and Joe escaped. We have a chance to take the tower and finally reclaim the water. Before fucking Ator does. We'll deal with the peacekeepers and getting you to the center immediately afterwards. First, we need to secure access to water. How do I get up the tower? It's almost impossible without a winch, and Joe's men sealed off access. That's why I'm asking you. So you want me to climb it? If you do, you'll save a great many people, Aiden. We won't forget this. Looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Sophie says once I help them get the water back, she'll show me another passage to the central loop. Sounds good. She grew up here. She knows every inch of this place. Better than most taxi drivers. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown, but he's dangerous. I doubt he'd just run off like that.
you, Jack. No, we were supposed to take tribute. Just collect money. Jack, give it back. They'll get what they deserve. They will die. Jack, I'm warning you. Got it. And the water is safe. After all, you made your choice. <laughs> of course, the fuck is up. Either the bizarre jag holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. We lost it, man. We lost it. Keep fighting. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole. Hey, who's there? Stop, or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the Pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a Pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone! I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker. Gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Lucas wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. Instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I can get you out of town. But first, I have my own business to take care of. You need to hide somewhere and wait. Sounds like a huge risk. No risk, no gain. He's lying, Jack. There's no other way. Fuck! I don't like it. I fucking don't. But okay. We'll be waiting for you in the tunnels near the Tango Motel. We'll give you a signal when we get there. Good choice. Now give me the detonator, Jack.
All right, so what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? Back on. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. Father used to work as a miner in the quarries south of the old town. Was talking Good to see you. With infected now. You can go search Barney's stuff. The coast is clear now. the water tower so the place should be empty now but I don't know when they'll be back <sighs> 
That ain't no proof. Is this some kind of collector or what? Something. Wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... That's human skin! Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We still ain't Doran. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <sighs> PK's got you that way, huh? <laughs> Feel... <laughs> <laughs> Here's something. Hakon! What the f- for fuck's sake. Are you nuts? He's... He's setting us up. This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? A of what? You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death? Or when he was still alive? You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't. But your crazy brother? Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to Ader. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. 
This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ador doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skim Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. <sighs> that seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here.